we're getting to the point where ultra wideband hardware is becoming more and more common in modern smartphones. So today I'll be showing you how to check and see if your smartphone or tablet supports this technology and how you can disable or enable the feature on your Android device. But before we get to that, let's talk about today's sponsor. PlayStoreSales.com is a website that gets updated every weekday with the best apps and games that are currently on sale in the Google Play Store. Now Google does include an Offers tab in the Play Store application, and that does have a section for games that are currently on sale. But that list tends to include a lot of junk, and it's not nearly close to a complete list. So check out www.playstoresales.com to get the best deal on apps and games for the day. Now back to today's tutorial. Ultra Wideband is a radio technology that is available for low energy and high bandwidth communication between devices. The range of this tech tends to be very short but it's been great for precise location tracking for things like your keys, a remote control, or just anything else that you need to track the, lo the location of. Android smartphones have been shipping with this hardware for a few years now, but sadly not every device has it. For example, my regular Pixel 8 and the base model of the Galaxy S23 do not have ultra-wideband hardware inside. However, my older Pixel 7 Pro here does have the hardware to support it. So we can enable it by opening up the Settings application. Then we're going to be tapping on the Connected Devices menu. And then we can select the Connection Preferences menu from here. Now when we scroll down to the bottom, you should see a toggle for ultra wideband. And we can choose to enable or disable ultra wideband from here. This feature should be enabled by default, but if you have disabled it in the past, then it can be turned back on from here. And also note, at least on my Pixel 7 Pro here, Ultra wideband is disabled when airplane mode is turned on. Now, if your device does not support ultra wideband technology, then you will not see this toggle here. And if you don't see that, we can double check to make sure that it isn't hidden somewhere else within the settings application by performing a search. So we would go to the main settings page here. And I think the best thing to do a search for is just the word wideband. If we search for that and your device supports it, then you will see it in the menu here. However, if your device does not support it, like my Galaxy S23, then when you do that search, it will return zero results. Remember, not all devices ship with the hardware to support ultra-wideband technology. But it is becoming more and more common these days, so I suspect the hardware will be included in most, if not all, Android devices sold in the near future. Let me know if you're familiar with ultra-wideband technology down in the comment section below. I have yet to purchase one of those Bluetooth trackers, but I would be interested in hearing how many of you are using them throughout your day.